Well, I just came along to find a young fella here cleaning up these rusty bits on the staircase. We'll come back to the product momentarily. Wire brush, you know, etc. So I may have made videos about this way back in the past, but here's our product. Rust converter. What it does is it converts, he's wire brushed off the rusty flakes, the oxided metal. This stuff converts it to iron oxide. It stops the rust. He's already done it over there. He's then painting it with um, trim clad rust paint. If you just come along and paint this stuff with rust paint, see he's treated it here with the rust converter. Well, let me go back a step. The rust converter, you spray it on and it comes in a paint on which we were discussing this earlier he and I the paint on works better you keep it wet until it stops absorbing it then it does its trick doing its conversion then you cover it with whatever in this case he's using rust oleum rust paint this stuff is fantastic for body work because it won't stick to paint, it won't stick to your tires, it won't stick to plastic, it won't stick to anything except rust. So you wire brush off whatever, the really big stuff, you put on the converter, you keep it wet until it stops soaking it in. This is why the brush stuff's nice, so you don't waste as much. And again, we both agree it works a little better. Perhaps because it's thicker, I don't know, we are discussing the theory of that. Then you let this dry, then you paint over it. Because if you leave the rust and just paint over top of it, yeah, that's probably not going to show as somebody did years earlier, especially in your automobile, what you're really doing is just wrapping leprosy in a band-aid. Whereas this stuff, again, there's different manufacturers who make it, but... Uh, well, we were talking, him and I, and we were like, yep, that's the dope. That's the stuff. Make sure it's converter, not by any other name. Anyways, just thought I'd share that video with you.